Hi there, Josh Holmes again. Uh, we are back out at our hives. Um, so I've decided this is Louise, this is Holly. So Holly has a new queen. We're gonna let the new queen get busy, do her thing for a little while. So we will inspect this one in about a week and a half. Um, uh, but uh, Louise here, we, we, we noticed that there was a queen cell and I wasn't sure what to do so I asked uh, my my mentor and I asked on uh, beginning beekeeping in on Facebook and uh, they they basically said uh, clip it or they're gonna swarm for sure so because it's a capped uh, queen cell so we're gonna do a very quick inspection and then we are going to um, and we're gonna clip a queen cell so um, and I'll explain what that means as we get into it. One thing I'm noticing here, just on the outside, is we've got some ants, just a few, running up and down. Uh, there's one right there, small one. Um, and so the uh, homeopathic way to get rid of them is uh, evidently we're supposed to spread cinnamon. And so we can spread cinnamon on the, you know, around on the bottom here. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Let's get into this hive. Hi, Louise. How you doing? All right, so if you've been following along, you know that we've got a super on top that has got some uh, sugar water um, because they're still building a bunch of frame and so on. Got my handy hive tool today. We will split that right there because they glue anything that is not glued down. They glue it down with uh, Propheus. So I'm going to set this just over on top of Holly for a moment. All right. So this, I'm just gonna quickly glance at some of the middle frames here. Uh, I'm not doing a full kind of inspection on this one. Um, I don't think we need to just yet. It's still a relatively new. Um, well, I'm just gonna look at a couple of the interior frames real briefly. Sorry, I'm just gonna lift up the lid over here because there there were a few bees trapped under it. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that comb is coming together really nicely. Um, yeah, it's coming together really nicely. Uh, they are busy and working. All right, glance on the other side real briefly. Yep, same thing. Um, they are working away on that. Um, but that, th this frame is quite a ways away from being finished or filled or whatever. Um, I'm just going to quickly eat. Yep. I'm just glancing down in there. Um, all the rest of those hives are basically the same as that one or, or not, not hives frames are basically the same as that one. So we're going to push this back together and we are not going to spend a lot of time in this particular deep. All right. Again, they've glued everything together with Propheus, so I am just going to split it, twist it, pull it off. I'm going to set this entire box right here for the moment. All right. And I'm going to go through these first couple of frames pretty quickly. I'm not expecting a whole lot on these because they have not historically been all that filled up. Yep, nothing, nothing. So empty frame and that is okay. And that gives me the chance to just set that one on the side because it's not full of bees. All right. So same thing, uh, empty frame. Again, not surprising. And I'm just gonna set that one over here on the side as well. Okay, these have not, I was expecting a little bit more on this one, but as you can see, it's, you know, they're, they're still working on the wax on that, uh, but they are actually starting to put some stuff in the bottom of those. Um, you can start seeing right here, there's a couple of uh, these that are, you know, they, they've started filling these up. I'm not sure with what yet. Um, I, I need to get better at this before I really truly understand everything that's going in there but there we go okay 
And what I'm really kind of looking for, because we know that we've got a good laying queen in this one. Um, really what I'm looking for is I'm looking for queen cells and, you know, those kind of things. And this frame is so much heavier than the others. So, all right. Ah, I just smashed some of that, some of their ladies' hard work there. Oh, no. Um, didn't smash any of the ladies, I just smashed the hard work that they've been doing there. I am so sorry, ladies. Uh, but you can see lots of nectar up there. That's a good thing. Um, Technical difficulty to my end. What's that? Ah, okay, sorry, I see. What you're doing there? All right. It is now propped up. Okay. And then, this side again, a lot more nectar, um, et cetera. There's some rogue comb being built over there, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not mad at that. Um, except that there are. That looks like a, the start of a queen cell there at the bottom. So this is. That is starting to look like a queen cell right there. So I am just going to break that off real briefly, and we could take that wax and go save it. But instead, what I'm going to do is I am just going to take that and dump that inside the hive. And they will repurpose that wax later. Do the same thing with that a little bit since we're already in here. There. Okay. All right. Now, let me quickly glance. See, what I'm looking for is you're supposed to be able to see eggs at the bottom of the cells there. And I'm not seeing eggs, but I've never seen an egg, so I'm not actually sure that I am capable of spotting them. I've seen them in pictures of other people's hives, but I've not seen them in my, in my own hive yet. And then let's glance at this side real quickly. And lots of nectar and that kind of stuff in here. I'm not seeing eggs just yet. But that is okay. All right. Let's move on to the next frame. All right. We're just going to move pretty quickly through this frame as well, I think. All right. Look at all of that caps larva right there. That is a lot of great capped larva. Now, what is going on in the center of that? I am not sure what is going on in the center of that. We will have to, I'll have to ask my mentors about that, but um, I'm just gonna put a finger right in there and just let them move away for a second so we can get a good video of it. Notice that. Okay. So, I, I read somewhere, as I was seeing photos of the entire frames that looked like that, that that's a laying um, uh, worker, not a queen, because the queen would lay, you know, this over here, nice and, and, and smooth like that, and that that is indication that we've got a laying worker. But I don't know that that's, that's a real, like, I, I need to ask I figure out what's going on there, because that does not look nearly as pretty as some of the other uh, cap larva and so on. Um, looking for eggs. Okay, I mean, the good news is, you see the, see the bees with their heads way down inside there? I think that's the bees feeding their, uh, feeding the young. Okay, so I think, that's in, I think that's in good shape. All right, next. All right, let's get the next frame and we'll All right. 
again, look at that beautiful, beautiful uh, cap larva. There's lots and lots of it. Um, that right here, I'm pretty sure that's a drone cell. Okay, when they're sticking straight out like that, that's a drone cell. The queen cells kind of hang down a little bit more, and you'll see that when we get to the two more frames in at least. Oh, here's a queen cell right there. Look at that. There is a queen cell. And somehow we missed that the other day. But there is a that is a that is a full capped queen cell. That looks like that one is ready to uh, hatch. Not sure how we missed it the other day, but that is the type of thing that we are in here to take care of today. So I'm going to take my scissors. Well, I say that. I kind of want the ladies to get clear of it first. Let me see if I can get them to move off of it a little bit. Just see if I can just do. Oh, you know what? I don't have to clip it. I just have to push it and it will crack and you can see there was a larva so that is a queen larva right there okay but if I don't clip it then um, they will swarm and they will and I will be left with half my bees which that is how um, they um, how the hives procreate right um, one of the things I've come to realize is that the you know, don't think of the individual bees as the organism. Think of the hive as the organism. And how the hive re re recreates or reproduces is they swarm, which means that they create a new queen. Ooh, and look at all that. See all that? that that's all royal jelly. So that's actually the difference. You know, a, a queen lays an egg. She's not the one who decides whether or not it is a... Um, a queen or a drone or anything, the workers decide that, and they decide that by feeding um, them a tremendous amount of royal jelly. Um, and they'll repurpose the rest of that. Um, we just need to make sure that they don't build any more queen cells there. But the way that, they, they, that the hive um, reproduces is they create a new queen, and then when the new queen is uh, hatched and, and, and full grown, they um, they will uh, basically go off and, 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 and go look for a new home and a third to half of the bees in the hive or you know some strong percentage of them will go with her to go help her form this new hive and that is how beehives um, uh, procreate or propagate uh, you know whatever term you want to use there. All right. We clip one queen cell. By the way, one queen cell occasionally, not a big deal. Um, I've, I've seen pictures online of, you know, a, uh, a single frame that had a dozen of them on there. That was, uh, that was interesting. I realize I've not been looking for our existing queen as we've been going through here, just been admiring all of her handiwork. Um, so this, I'm not sure if that's a drone cell or a queen cell right there. We're going to go ahead and just give that a little bit of a smush there. Okay. All right. Oops. So there's another, I think that's a drone cell. It's not pointing down or it's not big enough to, to, to hold a queen at the moment. Look at that unit of a beast right there. That's a big bee. Good gravy. All right. Let's put this frame back in. Man. So, um, and the reason, the reason that I don't want them to swarm right now, by the way, is that um, the hive is outgrowing the bottom box, but they haven't quite outgrown the top box. And the reality is I need for them to be, um, you know, for it to be a big enough and strong enough hive to overwinter, to, 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 to survive over the winter. And the way to do that 
is make sure they keep growing inside of this hive rather than splitting and fact fracturing into a whole bunch of really small ones. Um, so, um, ba -bum -ba -bum. looking for our queen. I'm not seeing her. There's a fair bit of cap larva there, but that is the queen cell that we spotted last week that we wanted to go ahead and clip. And so we're going to go ahead and just, you know what, this one, I'm going to go ahead and take the tool right here and I'm just going to cut underneath it, right? That. Just trying to do this without upsetting the, the bees too terribly much and definitely not wanting to kill any of the other bees other than the one queen that we are out to clip here. And there's a couple of attendants that are still on that. I'm gonna set that over there as well, just like that. All right. There's that. Go ahead and scrape a little bit of this propius and get the gunk off. You can see we smash some bees there by accident at some point when we were closing up the frames. But, uh, Put that on the inside and they will reuse that per propius as well. Bees are very good at reusing their own byproducts. All right, so now, oops, Woo. I'm surprised I didn't get more agitated with my little slip there. So there is also this one here. Now that one is not capped right there. You see, uh, if I move the that little bee right there. That one is not capped, which means that there's not a queen in there, and that's okay. Um, we are still going to go ahead and just kind of get that off because I don't want that to be a thing. So I've just dropped that one back inside there. And there's a little bit more of this um, kind of raised bumpy stuff rather than the pretty beautiful larva, um, you know, capped brood and whatnot. So all right. Okay. That one is ready and a go. Yeah. It's peeking down in there. Actually, here, there, there, there's, there's some drama at the front entrance if you look through um, down there. Yeah, see, there's a there's a couple of dead bees, and the rest of the bees are kind of hauling them out. Uh, bees are very good at cleaning up inside, and if there's a bee that dies inside, they haul them out. Now, what I don't know is, um, you know, how they how they die, etc. Um, was it an intruder that uh, was killed? I, I I don't I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there's no uh, they're there. All right. So, there's another pretty good frame with some old capped larva. Oops, I smashed a little bit there. All right. I'm not seeing our queen, but again, that is okay because we're still seeing lots and lots of good larva and procreation going on is a good thing. All right. Oops. Same thing on this one. That looks a little bit fresher on the uh, on the brood than the other side. So uh, this one's a little bit younger. Okay. One more frame to go, and then we will close everything back up. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. Again, lots of cap larva in the middle, a cap brood. All right, let's see. 
Well, these are just busy right around here, so. Okay. And it's just beautiful watching them work. All right, let's quickly peek at the other side. All right. As expected, outside frame, a little bit less going on than the, uh, than the other side of it, but that is still quite a bit busier than the empty frames on this side. So, um, all right. Anything else you're seeing that we should take care of? No, I haven't seen anything so far. Okay. I do find it funny that there's a lot more bees on the top now than, than there were before. Oh yeah. No, I think they're uh, not overly excited about me doing the thing here. So, um, one thing I think I'm gonna do though, is just, just because these two frames on the outside haven't been doing anything. Look, look, wow, look at that. They've all of a sudden gotten really excited about this frame over here for some reason. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that's, that's what I was talking about. Oh, huh. I was looking at these over here. Yeah. All right, so what I think I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to take one frame. Actually, I'm going to take this, this frame that is mostly empty, and I'm going to slide it in the center as well as the empty frames. Okay, and that way we've got a full frame on the outside and the ladies can get busy working on the empty frames. This sounds like a good idea to me. I'm sure that there is, you know, actual conventional wisdom that will tell me whether or not this is a good idea or not. But... Here we are. All right. And then I'm just going to space these frames a little bit. All right. Let's take this empty frame and we're going to put that here in the center. Okay, and there's an empty frame in the center. And then let's take that over. that other empty frame right here between these two very full frames. Oops. Come on, ladies. Out of the way. Out of the way. I'm going to move that very slowly in. There we go. Okay. And this one as well. I'm going to move it very slowly in. Out of the way. Out of the way. Come on, sweetie. There we go. One of them is really not happy about the tool. Oh, no. <laughs> it's found Propius on the tool and it's trying to eat it. <laughs> All right, let's take this one, oops, we're just air more, and okay, so I've taken my empty frames and I've spaced them here, here, and here. And so, uh, or mostly empty frames. So we will uh, see what the ladies do with that going forward. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Alrighty. Okay. And I am just gonna peek, I'm gonna hold this up. You can just glance, just make sure that there's not any, there aren't any queen cells or burkham on the bottom of that, right? Uh, no, there are not. Okay, all right. Uh, there is one bee underneath the where you're about to put it. Come on, girl. Come on. Wait, it's still there. She's uh, no longer there. 
Okay. Sorry. No worries. Try to squish as few of them as possible. All right. For the one that just got locked out, but. Ah, she'll find her way in. <laughs> yeah. All righty. So, next up is this thing. cover on and let's throw this on and there we have we've snipped a couple of queen cells uh, two capped queen cells and an uncapped queen cell um, not crazy but you know that that is actually a, a sign of a healthy and productive hive that's really what that means is that uh, this hive is growing and thinks it is outgrowing the hive, even though it has this whole box up here um, because they're, 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 they're insects, they're, they're small. <laughs> but anyways, um, I've spaced out the, the empty frames. They've got lots of room to grow down there. They've got lots of room to grow up here. Uh, I am pretty excited. All right, with that, thank you very much.